Welcome to Curry TV. By this appearance, can you guess what I'm going to be doing today? Well, those of you who doesn't know, this is actually a traditional dress for fishermen in India, in Kerala. So the ladies do actually appear like this in front of you when they're selling fish or making fish curry, the traditional way. So here in Portland, we are actually celebrating a seafood fest, you want to say? Yeah, it's a seafood fest. It's an actually a challenge for me. Why is it a challenge? Because um, I've been in bed rest for a couple months and I'm starting to get up and start moving. I'll tell you that, sh I'll share that story with you later on. I'm going to be making a fish polichada, meaning mean polichada in our language, which means you are going to be baking or grilling the fish on a banana leaf. There's multiple steps that you had to go through. Let me just show you the first one. So for this recipe, I'm going to be using a red snapper. Nice, beautiful red snapper. It's clean, cut and sliced in the slashes into the fish so that all the masalas, all the spices will just merge into that and actually absorb all that flavor into the fish. This fish is actually really good to do a mean polichada, fish polichada. So for that recipe, I'm going to be using Cajun spices that we get here, red chili powder and turmeric powder along with, depending on the salt, if the Cajun salt is a little bit too much for you, you don't have to add extra salt. But if you do, please be feel free to do it. So I'm also going to be rubbing the fish with ginger garlic paste. In that ginger garlic paste, I've added curry leaves. Why do I do that? Just to get that Indian touch, the Kerala dish. So if you're making Kerala dishes, it's very important to have curry leaf in there. So that's what I'm going to be using as my base and then I'm gonna build up from there. So let me just take you one by one, okay? I know it's gonna be a long process, but let's do it. So what I'm gonna be doing is marinating this fish with all the masala. So here it goes. So first goes the ginger garlic paste. And to get this masala all into the fish, you gotta use your hands. And believe me, hand, my hands are clean, okay? So I'm gonna take this, rub it all into that fish, get it all up in there, twist it over, Get it up in there, get it into the slashes, make sure there's something in there, okay? Okay, and then the rest, what you got, mix it all up. So this is a mass cooking, so I'm not gonna give you the measurements right now. It's according to your taste, okay? So how much spice do you like? How, there's be a lot of people coming in, right? So I don't want it to be over spicy, but this is how I do it. Come on, baby, okay? There we go. Just get it all up in there and soften that fish with flavors and ooh. And we're gonna be deep frying this. So the ideal plan is to keep it aside for at least half an hour. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is this I'm just showing you one. I got the rest of the fish, <laughs> which I already have done. Same thing, same thing, and nothing changes. Okay, no changes at all. So what I've done here is I also put some cracked black pepper at the very top just to get that sealing in there. Okay. Okay. It's all well incorporated. We're going to be frying these babies up. It's about four to five minutes on each side. So it's going to be deep fried. So it doesn't, you don't have to flip it over because the fish is going to be covered in oil and you're gonna drain it all out and then you're gonna make a masala and then we're just gonna flavor them, okay? By the way, do you like my background? This is my backyard, my own backyard, which we created on our own. Let me know how you, if you like it or not, okay? Any suggestions or tips, whatever, I greatly appreciate it, or we actually greatly appreciate it. There you go. Now that fish is totally coated well enough with all the flavors and I did t check the salt and it is just perfect. I don't want to add any more and I'm just going to crack some more black pepper on top of this and I'll be right back. My hands are dirty so I'm, let me go wash and I'll be right back. Guys, I'm back in rolling so therefore I did do all the masalas just like I mentioned. I got a whole pot of fish ready to fry and I got the pan ready. It's a big pan. Um, my oil is heating up. 
on the meantime in the meantime what I'm going to do is in order to coat this into the banana leaf I'm going to have to make a masala that is such thick paste I'm just going to create that on the other step while the oil is heating up so fire away into that fish so some of them are whole and some of them are half you can see okay let's let that sit for maybe five minutes average five minutes okay so our big guys are going to stay in there for a couple more minutes I'm just taking the little guys out so you don't want this to overcook because we're going to be grilling them too so I've done it in a half way it's all done you don't want uh, all that excess oil so I'm just going to drain them and put them in a strainer you know that fish is ready I mean just look at that for me a little bit of lime juice would be good would be enough No more fish in here. I'm just gonna add while this is draining. I'm gonna add the next batch in. So in goes the big guys. This 
way you can control their cook time. keep that flavor going so I'm just adding a few more strips of curry in as you can tell the oil is so hot it's not spluttering like how we did in the beginning so I'm always almost three quarters of the way done I got one more batch done uh, to go I'm just about to get this guys out like I said this fish is so fragile you don't need to cook it for so long since I did keep it aside for like good two hours it has absorbed all that flavor in, inside out look at this it's so nice and soft and juicy it can't get any better no it can I love it if, I, if that banana flavor comes in place so I'm just waiting for that I got people coming in and asking if I can be the taster today, but I've been scaring them away. So here's my big guy. He's just about done on one side. I'm just flipping him over, making sure that he doesn't break up. So there's all these small guys on this side. So how I organize my fish is the big guys stay on one side of the pan. And the small ones are on this side of the pan. Well, I just had three more big guys going on right now. Just see, I just got all the small ones out of this. It appears so that the fish is really tasty as is. So why am I cooking more? I have no idea, right? No. My main dish is actually fish in banana leaf. I always love to experiment with my food. So, through these videos, that's what you will see. All the ingredients that we get here in the US and still make that authentic Indian dish, that's what it's all about. There you guys have, have I'm just pulling out the last batch of my fish. It's all done. Ooh. So what we're going to do now is transfer all these safely to my kit. On a medium low flame, what I'm going to do is take some oil that is really hot, pour it into this. This is a nonstick pan. That's all I had. This big, that's all I had. So I'm just going to use two ladle full and plus some coconut oil. Okay. You can smell that. Hey, why not? I'm going in a way right. So that's three ladle full and some coconut oil that I'm going to use. Into that, that goes in my ginger garlic paste. Okay? I just made it at home. That's a nice heat full because the quantity that I'm making is about 40 to 50 pounds of fish. And ginger, good heat full of so the first one I put in was garlic. Next, I'm going to add in, I added uh, ginger. So let's saute that. Make sure that it is nice and frying up very really well. This is going to be enough for all my masalas, all my fish. Like I said, it's too hot. Forgive me, okay? The, mas uh, the paste that I'm making is going to be for all of my fish, so don't get scared. Stay with me. Like I said, this is going for 100 people, okay? 100. Yes, you heard me right. 100 people. I can really smell that garlic and ginger paste. So, as you can see, it's... You know, can you tell them apart? No, you can't. So, this is where we're going to go in. Add some curry leaves. Just throw it in there, don't count. You need that bed to be full of flavors. So that's a lot of curry leaves, I know. Okay? 
the curry leaves and goes the green chilies it depends on how much my I'm just eyeballing it now here's a trick that I'm gonna do my oil is some semi still hot on the other side right so while this is heating up what I'm gonna do is this is small shallots which I have sliced thinly I'm just going to take a handful and fry it over here stay with me stay with me don't go there don't go don't go and just look at that make sure it's golden brown I'm just going to create a bed for the fish. And this is going to be my base. If you have your spice masala, such as your Cajun spices, your turmeric powder, because I'm not doing them right now because all this oil is already infused with that flavor. That's why I'm not adding it at this stage. But if you are using a different oil, definitely take that into consideration and add your spices such as your Cajun sp um, spice, the red chili, the flakes I mean, not the powder. Now let that, let that sit in there for a couple minutes while I'm looking back at my... Yeah, you gotta be a multitasker for this. I'm doing things, I'm doing this on my own, so I don't have anything else. Other than my husband and kids, they did a fantastic job. My husband did all the cleaning of the fish. Kids cut up all the onions and ginger and garlic. Lucky I'm, yes. Okay, that, that's it. Go back into this. Drain this and put it into this. Not easy. You're saving time. You're also picking up all those flavors on the bottom of that pan. Into this. Okay. Mix it well. Next goes in. I didn't have the patience to cut up all that shallots. So what I'm gonna do is another trick for those massive cookers. I'm just gonna add in some red onion, which I've diced up. That gives that thick paste. See, was that enough of oil? Yeah. If you want, you can still use that oil from the other pan. But I think this is enough because you don't want it too oily. What, we, what we're gonna do is coat the fish, bottom with this layer, and then put the fish, same with the masala on, on top of it, and then close the banana leaf and grill it. So this is actually the bed. Okay, at this stage, check your salt level. Do you like it too salty or just enough? Because I'm my fish is pretty nice and spicy now. Don't think I need to add more salt. As you can see, my oil is still boiling on the other pan. I'm gonna use it. Don't worry, it's gonna go. Let's keep going on. Okay. Next, what I'm gonna add is diced tomato. This is about, oh, I don't know, five tomatoes diced up. Here's another thing that I'm gonna do. I want this nice and soft and it gets such a smooth paste. Instead of adding just raw water, what I'm gonna do is I have taken a few 
for the fish flake, the fish heads, and boiled it. So I got the fish stock, drained all that excess stuff. Now I'm just going to pour a little bit, little of this fish stock into this. Little mean that that look. Okay? When you're cooking massively, one or two spoons won't be enough. So now let me show you how to do the pouch for the fish, okay? Do you see this consistency? Dum, 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 dum. There you go. So that's how thick the paste is. So what you're going to do is take a ladle, base it up, okay? Just a tad bit. Okay. Some people just do put tomato to, um, in case if this is too dry. You don't want it to be too dry. Why add extra tomato and stuff when you can actually have the gravy so nice and juicy, right? So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to take my f bed, fish, put it on that bed. Again, take a little of that thick gravy. Oh my goodness. Mmm. Seriously, it looks so good. Amazingly, it tastes good. Look at it. Pat it all in. Make sure you got all that juices up in there. We're gonna seal it off with this. Okay? Make sure there's no cracks or creases in there. And we'll roll it all up in there and seal it. Okay. Here goes in. Okay. One, two, three. On the flip, okay? One, two, and three. There we go. Now that was not so hard. And you're gonna seal it all up in here and grill it like so. Tie it up. I did you just did you just see that video where my husband was actually wrapping it up? We'll use that same technique, okay? Seal it all up and grill it. That's it. There's your pouch ready to be served for your friends and family. Now, when you're sealing it and grilling it, here's another tip. Put some water on that grill and a little bit of oil. The coconut oil will actually help, okay? So put some coconut oil on that, just a little bit, and then put this. And once you're serving it, just a line will do. Once they get it and you open it and see that smile, it's worth every effort you just went for. That's what you're looking for. At least that's what I'm looking for. Make sure you try it. Give it a try. I'm looking forward to hear from you. See you next time.